change. I will be redeemed, my friends. You will be redeemed, but you gotta realize and say to yourself, I want to be redeemed. I want to be saved. I want to be sanctified. I want to be set free. I want to say to the devil, yesterday you may have got me. Even this morning you may have got me. But right now I'm in the hands of the master and you can't touch me. Pastor said it this morning. The devil got to ask permission before he lay a hand on you, my friend. Don't get it twisted. You ain't oppressed by the devil just to be oppressed by the devil. God is allowing these things to come your way so you can stand up on your own and realize that you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, but my... Yes, what resides in this vessel, my friend, is something more powerful than the devil himself. All I gotta do is speak the name of Jesus. If you have the Spirit of God dwelling in you, Amen. you shall be changed from mortal immortality. Yes. If you have the Spirit of God, so all I gotta do is just speak the name of Jesus. And the Bible says, the name of Jesus, demons tremble. Yes. So this name that I have to speak. There's a spiritual embodiment within this vessel. Think about that. All you gotta do is say the name, but you're carrying within you the very essence of God. If you can believe that sense, if you can realize that sense, then you will know that whatever comes your way, God is allowing you. Amen. Listen, you can't win a victory unless you go through a fight. It's not going to happen. You can't beat down the devil unless you are standing against the devil. You can't try on serpents unless serpents is underneath your feet. You can't walk by faith unless there is something to test your faith. You can't be victorious without going through a fight. That's why James says, count it all joy when you go through perilous times. No the trying of your faith work is patient say you got me going right now but this is for a reason I'm going to let you know that at the end of this I'm going to be better than the beginning of this because the Bible says that the end of the thing is better than the beginning thereof same thing with your trials friends if you're going through it right now keep your eyes on God if you're going through it right now worship God if you can't lift your hand up let Brother Price know I'll help you lift your hand up because we shall be victorious. We shall be overcomers. The Bible says that I need to be more than conqueror. Hallelujah. Through him. I love me. Jesus. The name in which the demons tremble. Jesus. The name in which we baptize him. That's why I baptize in the name of Jesus. Because they know what Going through 
for about a week now. God passed this guy just been through it for a week, but I've been going through it for, for six months now. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? No, but I've been going through it for, for, for two months now. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? No, but you know, right now it seems so hard for me. Yes, that's right. It should be hard for you because you've got to rely on me to make everything right within your life. And until you learn that, yes. until you realize that, you will constantly be in struggle. You will constantly be wrong. Oh, man. That's right. You will conscious, yeah. constantly be oppressed. That's right. Hallelujah. You will constantly be forsaken. <laughs> you will constantly be forsaken. The Bible says, I have never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging for bread. That's right. If you're forsaken, then you need to get down on your knees and get a hold of God. And if that prayer is too quiet for you, then you lock yourself up in your house, you blast some music. But whatever you do, my friends, it is through your prayer. The praises go up, the blessings come down. If you want the devil to come down in your life, lift God up today. If you want the devil to be trodden down in your life, raise God up today. If you want your problems to re if you want your problems to be the exact size which they are to God, which is minuscule, then you put them before God today and realize that beyond this problem is a God that is bigger than my problem. It's a God that is greater than my problem. It's a God that is more in control than my problem. It's a God. It's a God. It's a God that is asking me today, is there anything too hard for me? Have you ever done that to somebody asked ask them a question you already know the answer to? Mainly just so they can check themselves and realize, you know what, you, you're kind of right. We should look to God and say, you know what, God, you, you're right. Not kind of right, but you're right. There, there, no, there, there is nothing too hard for you. And it's that moment when you realize that the devil ain't got you running, you got him running. It's in that moment that you realize that the devil ain't got you crying, you got him crying. It's in that moment oppressed. You've got his kingdom oppressed. It's in that moment when you realize that the devil ain't fighting you. You are destroying him. It's in that moment when you realize that you are righteous and you are not forsaken but the devil, my friend, is unrighteous. Yes. Hallelujah. And he is God. That's right. God. Yes. Hallelujah. You and I ain't the devil, my friends. You and I ain't the devil. We are not meant to house the spirit of the enemy. We're not meant to go to hell. For hell was created for whom? The devil and his angels. So why would you want to jump on that bandwagon? It ain't going in the right direction. This entire world, you know what I... I I had, I had a, a guy at my work. <laughs> you, I already say ignorance is bliss. You know what this guy said? Well, what's so bad about hell? That's, that means you don't know what hell is. Right. That means you don't know what hell's all about. That means you don't realize. You, you, the, the world is trying to downplay the things of God, my friends. Don't downplay it. Don't eat up the lies of the devil, my friend. The devil says that all you have is just be a good person to make it to heaven. But God told Cornelius, like Pastor said before, God told Cornelius, you need more. Yeah. And I'm here to tell you today that you need more. Yeah. Oh man, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. Yes, I know the Bible says that, but it says more, my friends. Yeah. And don't just stop there. So why are you going to stop there? I don't allow a portion of scripture to keep me out of the of God, because Jesus says, "Very, very, I say unto you, except 